<laughs> She's a little spooked. So, let's have a look here. There's a lot of chickens roaming around fertilizing the, uh, the plants. Let's see if we can show you the spiders. Oh, there's the buds. They really favor the buds here. Interesting enough, they actually produce basically every kind of tea, it seems. They've got the three big ones. Oh, here's the spiders. That's how you can tell. There's no pesticides. You see the spider webs? I can see them from a distance. Here's one. Here's one. Hello, chickens. Roosters. More, more spider webs. They're all over here. See the size of these? They're all over. Basically, chickens and spiders everywhere. So they've got seven mountains, and I believe they said they have a hundred and no, 1,600, 1,600 acres of the plantation here, and it's all organic. So they produce. Black tea, oolong, and fresh green teas. And uh, it's all very tasty. Their green teas are mostly uh, the buds here. Either one or two, and then the little bud. You can see the little hairs on it. Yeah, that's what they prefer, the style. But they do have a black tea, that's a big leaf one. And it's got a very nice taste. But Chasha is having the time of her life here. Exploring. So yeah, and you can see the, what's called in Chinese Guihua. English is Osmanthus. They grow all through here. And they've got Ginkgo. Ginkgo biloba here. These trees go quite large and thousands of years old. In Sichuan we saw some 2,000 years old giant trees. But you can see the guihua mixed in all through here. And the spider webs and chickens roaming everywhere. Can you see him in there? Yeah. There you good view of the spider webs. But that's how you can tell if a place is using pesticides or not. Because obviously pesticides will kill the spiders. But if you wait a while, stop spraying, the, uh, the spiders will move in and do the job. There aren't a whole lot of uh, bug bites on here. I mean, there's some damage, you know. But actually, they make a special oolong that's just with leaves that the uh, bugs eat. I don't know why, just part of their style, you know? Maybe they think the bugs, the leaves the bugs prefer, have some kind of special properties. But, um, you know, those kind of unusual, strange teas really increase the price. So, uh, you know, if you're new to tea drinking, you don't need to go so extreme. Just go with what tastes good, basically. And you can get quite affordable teas. But they can be ridiculously priced. I mean, like gold. If you try to get these, you know, strange ones. There was a story of a, a plantation in... Oh, I forgot which province it was. Hunan province, maybe? Or Hunan? Where they would have only virgin women picking the tea and had to drop it between their breasts and then drop it into the tea, into the tea basket. So it was pure, and it would cost you know, more than gold in, in its weight in gold. There's another one in uh, Sichuan, up in the mountains where pandas are from, who claims to only organically fertilize his tea bushes with panda feces. P 
panda dung, which uh, I think is crazy. But um, this one is rooster and chicken fertilized and uh, protected by spiders. So I'm not going to take you through all seven mountains, but uh, at least you can get an idea of what an organic farm should look like. Had enough? You got the rooster cornered? Okay, you're torturing him. Let's go. Come on. So there you have it.